Asadi. Asadi. Why is that set up like that? <laughs> What's up, Frag? Relish Twins Airsoft coming at you with an unboxing today. A little unboxing of stuff we got off Wish. I would like to clarify, I am not sponsored. I just like the cheap prices. I got a few things in today. So let's get into it. The first thing is a Claymore. Just taking a look externally. Nothing special about the box, but let's go inside. It's pretty basic packaging. As always, you're going to get instructions with terrible, terrible translations. Also in the box we have the Claymore itself, which is made out of plastic and polymer, but it's pretty goddamn hefty. It feels pretty solid and well put together. Also got the detonator, a battery, a spool of wire, and a piece of plastic that hooks onto the spool, just trying to give it a, uh, make it spin a little easier. Now the Claymore does come with legs that are just screwed onto the bottom, but they do feel a little flimsy, and I think they will loosen up over time. The Claymore does have a handy little loading door in the front, so you can get your BBs in there. And it comes with a safety key to keep it locked so it won't pop open by mistake. And then the trigger mechanism itself. The firing mechanism is activated either by the remote detonator just tripping it forward or the tripwire tied to it to tug it forward. Once the trigger has been released, it pops open and springs out a ton of BBs. The next thing we got is actually a spring-loaded grenade called the MK3. It is marketed as a Nerf grenade or a gel ball grenade. This one doesn't even come with instructions, just the grenade and a box. It is an impact grenade, so you pull the pin and the detonator inside is just a weighted ball that will pop open the three doors on the side. The three doors in turn keep these three heavy spring-loaded catapult-like things in place. I already had one of these just to test it out and absolutely loved it, so picked up a second one. This grenade is fairly one-directional, but at our field, a grenade going off in a room is a room clear, regardless if it hits you or not. Rearming the grenade is simple, push the spring-loaded arms down, close the doors fully, press the weighted ball down to lock it closed, put the spoon back in place, and you're good to go. Once the pin is in, it is safe to load it with BBs. It is marketed as a gel ball grenade. So it has the bottom opening for these gel balls, but they are actually the perfect size for airsoft BBs. Now the main reason this is becoming my go-to grenade is its room clearing abilities, the fact that I can reload it on the field with spare BBs, and with shipping off Wish, it's only like 30 bucks. The Claymore, again off Wish, with shipping I had a coupon and it only ran me about 60 bucks. Everywhere else online, the Claymores are at least 100 American to 150, and that's without shipping. These grenades, if you can find any grenade for 30 bucks that does the job just as well, you better tell me. Now the last thing I got off Wish are these hollow sights right here. They are Polymer Knockoff EOTech. The brand is STD, <laughs> and they are just a very budget-friendly sight for your gun. They only ran me about 12 bucks a piece with shipping, but all the adjustment knobs on them are fake. The battery door is on the bottom, not on the side like the real deal. Again, STD. That's just a terrible branding name. The on-off button is actually the down adjustment button. There is no brightness adjustment on this. It's just on and off. I know it looks like a dot on the screen, but it's kind of a red cross. 
it's really good for quick target site acquisition, but it's nothing fancy. Honestly, if you're just getting into airsoft, you got a polymer gun, a polymer sight's not gonna ruin it. It is gonna make your gun look a lot nicer than just the iron sights. I mean, from two feet away, these actually look like the real deal, they look really nice. It's just when you pick it up, you realize it's made out of polymer, not aluminum. I did pick up two in black that you can see here, and I got one more earlier that actually has a green cover on it, a green sleeve, that looks uh, pretty sweet, it's kind of like a zombie slayer style. I'm planning on keeping one of these black ones, but doing a giveaway in the near future for one of the black ones and the zombie green one. Remember to like, share, subscribe, I don't want to do the giveaway till I get a little more of a viewer base, especially of newer players. Now, just for a little fun and giggles, I had a couple buddies coming over, so I set the claymore up, only put like 5-6 BBs in it, just to see if I could catch them off guard. Had the tripwire connected to the door. <laughs> he seemed more confused and annoyed than anything else. This is Relish Twins Airsoft reminding you to smash that like and that sub. Check us out on Facebook at Relish Twins Airsoft. Hopefully we'll see you on the field.